Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. So, I, I was trying to get Christian to talk at the very end, but I guess he wouldn't do it. So, nope, you need not this song. time. I learned. <laughs> I've learned my lessons. Hello, this is Microcasters. What's up, everybody? So, so yeah, so today, I don't know, like, what we're actually doing because we never actually posted a preview. Yeah, because I said, guys, I can't post a preview. I don't have the toy. And you guys were like, we're social loafers. We're not going to do it. I had Mm. car trouble I had to deal with for several hours. Uber trouble? No. I didn't tell you guys about that today, did I? It's done now. Everything's fixed. I thought you said Uber trouble, so. Just car trouble. Which could be really intense trouble or trouble with the company Uber. Uh, No, just car trouble. All right, so hold Uber on. I'm gonna go trouble. ahead and stop the show. We can record. We we can you know talk, <laughs> tell your story, and then we can start it back up. Is that Let me start out. Go? I'll tell my story yeah. in the after show. If we, if we record an after hours, you guys can. Oh, fine. You guys are gonna we talk should. about dumb little robot toys. I, I do want to give a shout out to my friend Robert Waller from the Botbots group. He picked me up a Series Four figure this week. Nice. That's so we're, good. we're hunting for each other in various parts of the country, so Ooh, I don't know where he is. You have to tell me about what those um. I'm sorry. Did I just interrupt your kindness? Be kind to this person. I mean, I'm hunting his, his series three stuff down. He's hunting series four down for me. We're gonna trade up after Thanksgiving. Now I'm done. What did you? That's order? very kind. I was just gonna say you need to tell me about the deets on these um claw machine and turn crank machine. I ordered my case today. They look Dude, super cute, and I have to you know, know like, I ordered my case today. if they're poop or not. Because if they're not poop, I want one. I'm uh, splitting them up with our good friend Nick from Big Ten Robot Toys. Nice. So, He's the so they have are, these, are, the, are those things only available on Amazon? Is that the deal? So far, they're only available on Entertainment Earth. Or Entertainment Earth. Okay, gotcha. So I don't know if that's their final destination but that's the only place we've seen them so far they got announced with no retailer so who knows i think earth is their final destination for the bot bots you would think i hope it's it's not i hope they go to space that would be cool sure space bot bots um so today on the, on the actual show, our, our actual topic is is we are going to review some rectangles. Woo! Woo! And other friends. Oh. Basically, we're doing we're doing the last small class waves for our siege. Well, I don't actually have the um, little target master guys because they have not hit by me. So. Oh well, and, then I guess we're just doing micro masters. Excuse no, we can me. do the we can do the other ones. I mean, we can talk about it. like we're not going to do a whole show on. Target. I mean, I guess we could do a whole show on the, you know, the worthless one, but. Funny uh, enough, I actually like most of the time these siege figures that are small and mediocre, I don't plan to get them and we don't end up doing a show on them. The one time we actually do a show on them, I actually plan to get all of these and have not been able to yet because I have not found them in stores yet. That is unusual for you. That's great. I know. I Well, I want the blue thing that turns into a bigger blue thing because that amuses me. And I don't you actually own a rap bat toy. Punch, the battle squad? Yeah, well, yeah. Didn't you? I thought you ordered these at Big Bad Toy Store. Didn't you ship your pile or whatever? No, the indecision kept getting me and they kept going out of stock. Oh. I shipped my pile like a week and a half ago finally, but it still hasn't actually shipped, so... Someday, um, someday I will have a thing. Yeah. What is actually Big Bad funny. Toy Store's like actual date you have to order something to actually get it by Christmas? Like, is it is it like tomorrow or? Probably. I'm sure they'll tell you. Well, and at least we'll get another chance to talk about Singe here when we do Spinister. We will. We will. Because Singe goes with Spinister. I was thinking, like, and this is completely off topic, sort of, but not really. Because Singe, Singe is here, and he's a little gone person. Um, I was thinking, like, what do you think it would look better to use the Target Masters that we've been supplied out of the new set, which are, you know, big, full-size Target Masters for Spinister, or 
to buy an extra um, shovel face orange guy. What's his name? Losing it. Scoop. Scoop. Yes. To buy an extra scoop. So you have two scoops. And to take the extra target masters and paint them to look like spinisters so that they're small target masters instead, like they're supposed to be, instead of big well, full size ones. I already own those because they were official figures that came out. Right, I know that, but I do not own that. You want more. How they're do officially not... expensive figures. How are they expensive? Singe and Hair Splitter were uh, Transformers Club exclusives. Yes. Oh. So I you're, tried you're, to you're buy saying them. the repaint. Like, not the, yes, not the, the repaints are expensive. Scoop. Yeah, yeah. No, you can get scoops for like six bucks on various um, sites at the moment. So you can buy might be scoop. more than Scoops Friends. Because they have better <laughs> gun modes to me. And I don't I don't think that's, you know, a universal. I think a lot of people probably prefer Scoops guys. I don't but, know. Uh, I like these better. I was just curious if you thought it would be better to to paint those because they'd be smaller. I mean so if Singe is in a last wave, and that's hard to get, and Hair Splitter was in an exclusive pack, which if you didn't get, you don't have them. So there's definitely merit to doing that. Right, which I do have the other one. <laughs> I don't have that one yet, and I may or may not get it. Who knows? What, but so Spencer's what is very pretty. Name? I want Spencer to be complete. Who? Well, what guys? The, the one that Christian's pulling up, what's his name again? This is Singe. Singe, okay. Yeah, I don't know. That looks really good, because that's a repaint of the, what, the blue one? Is that right? Of uh, Aimless. Aimless, yeah. Like, yeah, that's a repaint that looks of the a better, better mold. Yes, this is the better mold one. And it's, paint, like, we thought that Fracas was painted really well, and Fracas is painted really well. Singe is the best painted one of these we've seen so far. Wow. Yeah. I, and, I was going to say, you know, this I is, think... again, purely subjective. I don't like these effect parts. But he comes with these cool green colored ones, mm-hmm. and we haven't seen that color, I don't think, yet. Again, I'll display mine, so I could be wrong, but a nice it, green. It's funny, I like the effect parts in theory, but every time I actually put them on my figures on the shelf, even though I do pose my figures in battle poses, they just don't quite pop the way they're supposed to. No, like, something not. in implementation just doesn't work as well as I think it should. I don't know. <laughs> but then again, I don't think they're really... I honestly don't think the effects parts are for us. I think those are actually the kid thing of the line. There's something for kids to lose? Is that what we're saying? Everything is something for kids to lose. You know how many G1 headmasters I have? You know how many G1 headmaster heads I have? The answer to the second one is zero. The answer to the first one is a lot. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, you know, that that's why, like, those headmasters, like... What they're like fifteen twenty dollars headless on eBay, or they're like a hundred dollars if you have the head. <laughs> right. I'm but. wrong. This is not a repaint of Aimless. This is a repaint of uh, Fire Drive or Fiber. That's what Firebird. I thought. Okay. I, I yeah, wrong. no, this looks a lot better. Like I like it. It looks kind of gunmetal. Is that? It is very. Yeah. It's yeah. It's gunmetal, and then his blue face is really nice. Yeah, that's looks really cute. nice. Like, I mean, that was my biggest complaint uh, about these figures coming out is is that I didn't think they were that well painted, and they looked a lot cheaper than the Takara ones. Like, I don't necessarily need them to be as articulate as, you know, some of the older Takara ones, but they just kind of look cheap. And I think they're finally are getting to the point where they actually look pretty nice. So it'll be, it'll be yeah, interesting to see better. what, like, because um, for Earthrise, have they talked about what their – like, yes, the, first, the first wave in Earthrise is a repack of Smashdown and Sound Barrier, the ramp map. Oh, it has the ramp thing or whatever. And yeah. Sound Barrier looks to be well painted mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. So, Smashdown was I'm not well painted. Yeah. The figure itself is fine. It's creative. The figure, it's a good figure. So while we're, I guess while we did Singe, we'll just go ahead and do Rung real quick. God, I want oh, Rung so bad. That looks like I'm I'm so excited for that. Rung is very good. Uh, he he's a uh, very good approximation of his alt mode in the comics, which I'll, mm. I guess I can do for you real quick. Yeah, I won't do it for you. I'll just do it. Sorry. 
<laughs> there you go. There he is. And he is very not painted in this mode. Reaper labels will hopefully come to the rescue here. Hopefully. But I like him a lot. I mean, he, cool, he does, I mean, this is what he's supposed to look like, but then he has effect parts because he's a siege figure that then turn him into an actual gun somehow. Right. They make him feel more like a gun. Yeah, so he actually is like this for Siege. Which is fine. These effect parts are a nice blue. Um, they're very related to him. If you don't, if you read the comic, you know why this color is relevant. If you don't, then they're just pretty. His face looks like it's actually well done, too. Which is good, because his face is like what's unique about him, right? Like, he has a funky face. So his face is just about as accurate as you can make it, especially for something at this size. He's pretty neat. He's just yeah, a right. little blurry still. Does he have the eyebrows correctly? Yes. Because eyebrows are his, like, defining feature. Yeah, they're not painted, but they are molded. I mean, really, you could paint them, right? Like, just a little teeny bit of paint. Yeah, you could probably do it. I know a lot of us have no paint skill, but just get a little paintbrush and do do and then you have. Really is blurring. Sorry, guys. But yeah, he, it, he, yeah he does not worry about not, it. It does not want to like focus on the guy. I'm trying to make it resolve, and it will do it. Yeah. Because my face is here. I don't know. Yeah. But he's yeah, quite no, nice. Like that, I, I'm really excited for him. I mean, I think that you know whoever decided to put him in to the wave i mean i think you know kudos to them it's it's great that they managed to get a guy like that into cuz like i mean he had a stupid alt mode right so i think that's the reason he's not been anything cuz you can't make this alt mode be anything especially in a bigger class like oh it's a stick <coughs> great but in right. this size you can you can kind of fudge it and make it into some sort of weapon so i think i think this was a good call of course i wish it was bigger who else, you know, who, who wouldn't wish it was bigger? But in order to get him to happen, this is what needed to happen, and I'm very happy with it. But I think, I so think too, I mean, you can put him in your pocket, you know? Like, he's your little rung buddy that come, goes with you to work, and I don't know. <laughs> like, I I, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I seriously think I might pick up an extra one just to have on my desk at work, and people will be like, what the hell is this? And be like, well, He this is a is lot different from the other Battle Masters because of the way he built and the way his alt mode works, he looks a lot less bulky. They're the exact same size. They're the same weight-ish, mm. but there's a lot more weight in Rung's backpack bit than there is in right. Singe's. And so, as a result, Rung looks like he's got a slimmer profile, and he does. It looks, it looks like there's less of him, but it's not true. Just, he looks small. You know, I think that Ron could have gone the same route as McAdam is and got turned into a build a figure. So I think we're, we're probably lucky that he ended up being a, you know, small, cheap, easy to get figure instead of a behind a, you know, eight cyberverse figures. Uh, we've I would have been fine with that too. Yeah. I, oh, I, I know you guys would have done I, it. I see no issue with that, Ian. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded if, he was split between eight siege figures, but Cyberverse would have been pulling Ooh. some teeth. See, like, to, to you, like, to us, we're like, oh, like, it comes with a free figure. Like, he's totally free because we're going to get that stuff anyway. And Anna's like, oh, God, I had to get... You're not going to get Cyberverse. I'm not going to get Cyberverse, though. No, Cyberverse is, is the actual sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if it was Siege, then it wouldn't be. It would be super easy for you guys if it was Siege, and oh, yeah. I think like I would probably do it. I'd be like, okay, fine, I'll get everything from this wave. Right. But normally so, I don't. I think if McAdam does well, we may be able to see Builder figures again. Yeah, it'd be cool. It's been a long time since Transformers had one. It'd be I, I mean, cool, but at the same time, I also don't like it. Well, they've been doing that with Marvel Legends forever, so I right. I could totally see them doing that. So, because you might gate a character that I want behind characters I don't want, which no, would annoy me. The figures are. I know that's what always, it is. There's always secondary market that will uh, sell you just build a figure parts. Uh, I used to when I was in Marvel Legends more. I used to get my build a figure parts or just build a figures separately from DorksideToys.com. 
Yep. That's and true. Just, you can. They would sell loose figures without the parts, or they would sell yep. dildo figures I did that. without the extra I did figures. I that the so. opposite way with, with them, is, is I bought a loose figure off of off of eBay without the part, because I was like, oh, I just want the loose figure. So anyway, yep. um, so going on to next. the tape, guys, is that what we want to do next? or Unless you want to yes. do Battle Squad first. It doesn't matter to me. Battle Squad or tape, guys? Battle Squad. Tapes. Okay. All right, well, Christian wins out because he has a figure. So, direct hit and power punch. The return of MicroMaster combiners, and they are dope. Yep. I love them. Apparently, you can make them some sort of, like, overhead cannon thing for your big figures. But it doesn't matter because it's a giant armored truck with a cannon on it. It goes bloop, 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 bloop. You can shoot people. So. Great. Oh. The caboose shooter, can he be a figure on his own? Yeah, they both, I mean. Yeah, he's got a nicely here. painted grill to make him look like something. Say, Anna, I don't know if you can see it on okay. the other camera, but. And this is, yeah. this is yeah. Power Punch. Yeah. So, so yeah, they can punch. be dudes on their own. So. Yeah, it's, it's vague, but it's okay. Like, the grill looks good. The hole in the front is like, well. Yeah. I guess that's just what that kind of vehicle has. Yeah. That's it what has, you gotta it do. Has to have it. You gotta do. Yeah, this is better than it was in G1, where it was just the uh, just the combiner port. So this is kind of nice. Right. Yeah, it's not so bad. This is direct hit by himself. This is what his rear looks like, just back of robot parts. Yeah, his butt doesn't suffer too bad. But they're cool, and you should get them because they're great. Yeah, I mean, these are like I'm two of the more well-painted guys, and... Um... I mean, it seems like that they're not quite as loose as the other MicroMaster figures, too, which has been my biggest complaint about the Wave. Or about the MicroMaster figures in general is, is I feel like the ball-jointed joints are too too loose. These are not. My biggest not really complaint cool. is elbows. Yay. Oh, I mean, they're tiny little... I don't know. I mean, I realize New Age can yeah, do it. Was... New Age is also, like, $40 figures, so... I mean, not, yes, they're more expensive. They're about twice as expensive if you want to go with the Insecticons as a comparison. Um, Per figure, these are a little more than twice as expensive. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you want to do per figure, sure. Yeah, I usually feel like 40 bucks for the Sun 3, so. I think. No, 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 Sun 3, 60. So, I could so be wrong here. 60, yeah. I think it was. I'll talk about like, yeah. Stuff. No, we we start we start early now. Um, we I don't know who's saying that. Is that Rob? Uh, Probably. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're starting early, Rob. Sorry, Christian has a bedtime. Yeah, we've so. actually changed our time to 8:30, but you guys didn't make a post today. Now, I do like the fact that they painted the second segment of his arms a different color, which gives the mm-hmm. illusion of a lower arm. See, there you go. Yeah, and uh, Direct Hit has it, too. His is on the inside of his arms here. Mm-hmm. It just, it helps. It's like what I was talking about with the um, the old Legends figures, the, like, Titus Returns guys, and the fact that some of them just don't have feet. You know, they're not molded, they're not colored, they're just, their legs just end. And that just doesn't look as good if they just color it or put a little perforation in the plastic. That just gives the 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 rest of the arm is there. there. Or if you robot. What's wrong, Christian? (laughs) You're roboting. Um, You're roboting. Oh, sorry! I said they used to give some... I could be wrong, but I think... Uh, direct hit. No, this is Power Punch. Power Punch shares a little bit of engineering with uh, Flack. Not Flack. Uh, oh. Big Shot. Because the way the head is inside the envelope here and the way the arms fold up to make the, the vehicle mode. I'm not saying they're remolded from each other, but they they definitely share a transformation scheme. And of course, uh, Big Shot was also retooled into uh, Red Hot, who was also used as Wheel Blaze. Fun fact. <laughs> so just keep me around for I, all these names of small people. I figured that 
the face Christian was making was because I said a big word and I figured I probably pronounced it wrong. So oh, that's okay. what I figured because I said perforation and I figured like I would said it weird or something. No, just and that's why ears. you made a face, but it was just because I was a death robot. <laughs> I'll set the practice. I'll have to make death robot sounds and then say Springer over and over to see <laughs> the difference in Christian's faces. That's just, I know what Springer is. Get, get did, hey, Anna, did you sell your, did you sell your Springer? I think he has a home. No, I think the, I think the one that shares a mold with this is, has a home, but the other one does not yet. Oh, because you're selling both of them. So are you not going to have a Springer now? <laughs> Big Spring. Oh, okay. I like Big Spring. He's cool. Yeah. Other than yeah. my breaking the first time I transformed it. I, but still, I, I still think the MMC one's better, personally. If I was going to pick yeah, one. Yeah, I still think the MMC one costs three times as much as Big Spring. So. <laughs> mm, yeah, pretty much. You got me there. I'm sure it's better. And I'm sure, like, someday I'll randomly end up getting it. But, anywho, we're talking about little dinky toys, not cool ones. Yep. So. I don't know. Bat Squad's pretty cool. I think everyone should get them. They're great. Yeah. No, I, would I will. I plan to. Like, I mean, they seem of, neat. Of all these, you know, random MicroMaster dudes, um, I mean, they're two of my favorites. And they combine. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I know that our, our previous shows... I was pretty cold on a lot of them, but, um, and I, I don't know. Like, I like them. Most of them, I'm um, not that, like, I don't love that much, but these ones I think are probably my two favorite. I think for me, starting with the sports car duders, that just, like, killed it for me. Like, they were the first ones I opened, first ones I messed with, first ones I saw, and I just do not like them at all. And then when I opened the little plane guides, I was like, you know, anchoring off the sports cars. I was like, wow, these are super premium. These are like masterpiece figures. But it still couldn't be saved. I had already made that like mindset of I don't like MicroMasters. It was already doomed. I don't know. I, I think was guaranteed um, to like them. I, I think I would have liked them a lot better and I will like them a lot better once the bases come out because like, that's my favorite yeah. thing about MicroMasters in general, like the original G1 MicroMasters, like, I mean, the figures themselves are fine, but I really dig the bases. So I think that once I actually have that and that's, that was the thing, like when I got Omega Supreme, like I felt like that, like, cause I had, I got out like all the MicroMasters and put them all out on Omega Supreme with my kid and, you know, whatever. We were messing with it together. And that was a lot of fun. And so then I was like, okay, I can see where this is a nice size, especially for kids because, you know, my my eight-year-old could, you know, had no problems transforming them and all that, which, you know, some yeah. of the figures he has more issues with. Yeah, I can't be more excited for the bases like Ironworks. I hope, I really hope there's like more than one per wave, honestly. I want them to go forever. I want to see, like, you know, Hot House, um, the gas station from Grease Pit, mm -hmm. Airwaves Airport, uh, Flat Tops Carrier slash Jet, Overload's big old trailer. Um, are we going to see another uh, countdown? I think... Like the okay. base or whatever? I don't think. I hope that Omega's repaint, and I know they're not repainting Titans, I know it's like a whole thing where Titans don't get repainted for some reason, but if they repaint Omega, and they should, they'll kind of do it in a bluish, bluish red and white color scheme, and it will transform into the rocket base, but also homage the Guardian robots, which are also Omega Sentinel from Energon. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would dig that. I was really hoping that when they released Omega, it would be more rocket basey to kind of com combine both aspects. I thought that would be really neat. Uh, they did, ultimately didn't go that direction, but I think with some paint and maybe a different head if they wanted, uh, you could really make a good rocket base Omega Sentinel from that. I would dig that. So, yes, please, please, please. <laughs> All right, so are we are we talking boxes now? Rectangles. Yep. Rectangles. Rectangles. Talk about this one first. Oh, I just have him in alt mode. Great, I've got him in bot mode. 
So I'm sure it'll take a really long time to transform this case, that. So, so that here's, mode. A, here's the thing that I want to, and, and have they done the repo label sets yet for these? No, I don't know what they have. Well, yeah, I know. I figured that. So the one thing that kind of annoys me is uh, Rumble. There's no tape details. Is, that, is this Rumble or Frenzy? Which one is the? Is it supposed to be? This is Rumble, according to the package. Um, and Frenzy, so, according to reality. <laughs> so the Rumble thing that annoys me is, is is the mode that kind of resembles more of a tape mode. I can't fully get... Oh, why is it not focusing? Um, I can't fully get this into... Um, like to resemble a tape because his freaking head's right there and the head doesn't um like you can't I thought it was the, the other around. side the completely blank other side are you saying that this is yeah like which one's supposed to be the tape mode? neither of them are good tapes that's the problem yeah yeah but yeah you could turn his head turn his head i, I swear that i can't turn maybe i'm crazy chris maybe just I'm showed speaking. his head turned Okay, his maybe boy's I'm a, head turned, not his own head. Apparently, I'm an idiot. I'm Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm a moron. Okay, so yeah, so this resembles a decent. Yeah, I it mean, resembles. Not, not really. <laughs> First, it's like no, it doesn't. Really. <laughs> now it does have the like stamp on it, like the Vietnam and Takara. Like that's kind of annoying. So I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, so. Of all the Rumble figures we've ever gotten, the tank ones, the PDA ones, the Honda Civic, anything else, this is the worst Rumble ever. This is probably the worst tape thing ever. I hate it so much. Yay! It's, I love it's it. It's stumpy, it's tight in a not good way, and it's, you know, paint is kind of eh, because this lo looks good. When you turn him into tape mode, there's no paint on the back. Um, his hands are stupid, so they can accommodate blast effect. Woo! Look at yeah, him. that's cool. Mm. Blast effects are cool. You know what I want for a blast effect for him? Give me some pile drivers, please. But nope. They're uh, That'd be better. just weird, random. Laser How do his legs move? Out. Forward, um, back, so ball joint knees. So Rob, for why why don't you need more bases? Like Rob says, he doesn't need more bases. Rob, shut like, up! What you are you talking bases. about? You're insane. Rob, you're crazy. But he said G1 stuff. Like so, he has the G1 stuff. Yeah, I do too. And right. I mean, all the stuff they're like are. completely redoing G1. So if they're redoing G1, I'd rather them redo weird stuff rather than I don't know. Rob, I kinda, you're, you're not thinking straight. I'm going to say this out loud, and you guys are going to judge me, and it's all good. I honestly think that for the time that the G1 MicroMasters are more impressive than these MicroMasters. Like, I think those are cooler, like, toys because of what was there at the time and what is here at the time. I think that those are those are just neater. Can I reserve my judgment on that for after MicroMasters in the new times are done? Absolutely. Feel free because to. I really, really, really like the G1 ones with their whole ecosystem. Yeah. It's incredible. I love them very much. But the G1s were, like, they were, in a lot of ways, they were kind of, because they were small and compact and followed, like, pretty strict rules for what they could do, they almost came off as some of the neater looking toys and some of the better working toys mm -hmm. among the G1 figures at the time. So they were just, agree. they were impressive back then. And it's the same thing with the tapes. The tapes back then, like those G1 tapes to me are still just like maddeningly impressive. Like some of them are pretty flat, like Ravage, but like the, the Frenzy Rumble mold from G1 is just a super cool mold compared to the rest of G1. And honestly, it's better than that. <laughs> I've not had a chance to mess around with my reissues of the G1 mold of this yet. I yeah. just haven't opened them, and I will. Um, but this one is pretty bad. That said, I will buy it a bunch more times if Hasbro and Takara will just commit to a 
tape design so I can get all of the tape dudes, one design, they're all here. If it's this one, let it be this one and let's do it. Tapes all the way. So, so I will say that I don't hate this guy. I actually like the way that this, the, this rumble is painted. Um, I, I think that it's, it's neat. It's fun to transform. Um, I am annoyed by the, like the lack of elbows. I know that we were talking before, you know, about the lack of elbow, like that annoys me on this figure. Like, I wish that there was a little more articulation, like that you could move the arms and, and all that type of thing. But overall, like, I actually don't mind this figure that much. Um, I like it better than Ravage. Um, I don't really like that Ravage figure all that much. The mm. like laser yeah, beak, be. laser, laser beak, beak is, is like good. the star of the show. Like if you, I mean, because you have to get the two pack, right? So, I mean, you can't get them by themselves. But like, yeah, that laser beak is is incredible. Like that is hands down like the very the best figure of, of all of it. It it totally works. Um, and like I would say that, <coughs> excuse me. For the price, I would go with that laser beak over, you know, just about anything. But um, I don't hate this figure. Um, but at the same time, it's not it's not something where I'm like, oh, my God, like I have to have four of this mold. Uh, Can I just say it amuses me a lot that for head, the elbows bother you, whereas for the microbusters, they don't as much. Whereas it's the opposite for me, because for him his arms look segmented and look painted so I can understand that he has elbows. My imagination can say he really does have elbows. Just the limitation of the toy means he can't move his elbows. I think so I'm more okay with that. Yeah. I feel the same way though. I don't miss <coughs> elbows on micromasters, but I definitely miss elbows on this thing. And I don't know why that is. I mean, I just it's probably because his arms are segmented. It looks like he should have them. So, so the thing that's that probably annoys, the thing that annoys me is if they made it so that his arms, like, like if this arm part here, where it flips up like that, if it was the other way around, like I would have no problems with it. Like the thing, mm -hmm. it just annoys me that like I can't get, I can't move this forward. Yeah, if that makes sense. Like I don't like that. Um, so how's Rat Bat? So uh, I like the Rat, Rat, Bat. Rat Bat's cool. I mean, like th this is the thing is is like these like this type of figure just is is going to work better in this scale. So yeah, Rat Bat's neat. He looks like Rat Bat. His tape mode is a bit weird, but it kind of yeah. works, I guess. Are you doing tape mode, Lucas? Oh, I already did. I mean, whatever. You can flip it back, but... He's been yeah. on camera and tape mode for most of the show, Christian. Oh, I can't see that camera. You guys know that. I know. That's why I told you. Instead of just being like, mysteries. Here, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll take so he's, a few seconds. He's kind of gap. I did it. Yeah. Yes, he's kind of... Take... Put his feet in, you weirdo. Good job, fellows. Oh, sorry. Whatever. <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a little bit gappy as far as rectangles go, but whatever. He's got. Oh wow! Wow. He's got paint in this mode. <laughs> like you can very clearly tell this is supposed to be the tape part, so we've got paint on the outside, where Rumble has no paint. You get, just get Reaper labels, uh, and you'll be fine, Christian. They don't exist yet. <laughs> they will probably maybe I yeah, guess probably, they'll they'll probably, probably do a whole set of them or they'll do both I'm sure I think they don't they have them already for the other two tapes yeah probably I think they do they're super cheap so you get them but yeah so okay here is my cute. question for you Christian so the okay. fall of Cybertron like those little disc things right yeah if you, which do you like better, these little tapes or the discs? Like, if you had to pick one. Like, for, e for each character, for all the characters? So I'm just saying overall, if you could have only discs or these little tapes, which would you pick?
discs. I would definitely go tapes. I don't like those those discs very much. Like the couple of them that are okay, but I don't know. I, overall, I just was not a fan of that. Cool. Can I go I like data six just to be the third one? What are you with oh, discs? Uh, are you with tapes? Ones? And I go for oh, the titles for those... six. So, so those little the the data disc things that they did in what was that Titan Returns? I thought they were PDA. the discs were those um those could have been good if they didn't have to have a third mode. Like, oh yeah, know, just like yeah, that was a weird choice. But I think I the uh, humanoid mode did well. You know, uh, rewind yeah. is excellent. Rewind is really good, and I have them, and that's the only one I have. I thought so, it was funny. Yeah, so, be, although they made they've made a gargoyle, that's the only Hasbro figure of gargoyle so far. So I thought it was funny that Azim told me at um, when I was at TFCon that he was like, "Oh, you know, Hasbro already made a rewind. We're not going to make a rewind for MMC." I was like, "Dude, you are full of it!" Like, and of course it came out, you know, whatever. Like later on that that they're going to be doing a rewind. But I was like, you, you're just so full. It was like, why even say that? But anyway. Fun Easter egg. I think that's the third time Lucas has told that story on camera with me on the show. If you're a viewer, you could go back and find them and make a collection. I don't think I've heard that one, so it's not me. Oh, there, wow. there you go, Anna. See, Christian hasn't I heard my story time. yet. God, you sound like my wife. Paint. I'm okay. I just told the like story to so many times. Oh. Okay, nope. so a real fun <laughs> exercise. Go back to the episode where I talked about calculation keen and see how much Lucas heckled me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see some great A buttholery. Hey, this is a family that. show here. What are you trying to get us banned or whatever? That's why I said butt instead <laughs> of the other word. <laughs> Holery sounds weird, though. Yeah. Did. So. You know um, what? This actually is paint. Yeah. Huh. Right on the legs here, the leg pieces, that's paint. It just looks unpainted. So I guess I have to take back my no paint thing, even though it still looks bad. Well, here's my question for you guys. Currently, the way I have my um, new sound wave set up is that because he has this wonderful, bizarre orange chest, I put him with my orange masterpiece tape. So I put him with um, Lean Thane and um, uh, Stripes. Yeah, Stripes. The orange kitty. And <laughs> Christian, you're the worst. Why are you on my friend's list? Laugh at my fundamental way of speaking. I'm sorry. I never considered that character coming out in your accent. <laughs> anyway, it's the orange the bat. It's I'm like so double. Sorry. It's it's the orange bat. <laughs> I forgot that the first word has a G too. It's so bad. I'm so sorry. Awful. Anyway, the question was that that you asked, was I currently on my new Soundwave Katie out with Masterpiece cassettes? And I think it new actually... New Soundwave is known as okay. Sound Blaster to other people who have not seen that dub. Yeah, whatever. Um, a new Soundwave is Katie out with the cassettes, right? The Masterpiece ones. Should I keep that or should I actually go out and get these appropriately sized to go into his chest cassettes? I will give these guys one thing. They are appropriately sized. They look <laughs> like they should with Soundwave and Sound Blaster. So in that I'm regard, sh I'm showing off the Sound Blaster in the other camera that you can't see. Christian, so. it's all right. Well, I need Sound Blaster. I believe it's there. Yeah, I mean, for appropriate sizing, absolutely, you should get these. They look good together. They don't look good by themselves, but as a group. They're great. One second. One. Two. Uh, I got lost. Three. I can't find where I am. Well, he was right well, here the whole time. Well, I, I just think that Rat Bad or whatever, right? Okay, you can get this pack for, what, $10? And I guess I guess if you can get the knockoff Rat Bat, 
you know, that might be an option. The twenty dollar one, but I mean otherwise <laughs> the masterpiece rat bat came with sound blaster, masterpiece round sound blaster, so So here's how New Soundwave and Orange Rat Bat look together. And I think uh-huh. they honestly look pretty good together. Yeah, like, it's I think, a good toy. Like, I mean. The size is a little bit big, but it's not ridiculous, it's not you know. Big, you know. It's kind of like getting the MMC figures to go with your MP sound wave. Yeah. yeah. Where they're the bigger size. So this is the bigger size. But the MP cassettes definitely don't fit in this sound blaster, right? No, no, no it won't okay. go inside I of them. I don't think so. No, these the like, cassettes for these are significantly smaller. But um, anyway, I'm just trying to decide if I should bother getting these cassettes because I know there's this really cool, that really cool Dr. Wu set with the drones. Yeah, I've got that on order. Yeah, I'm tempted to get that and like just have that be his only, like the only two size cassettes I have for him. And then otherwise have him hang out with the ones that they can't actually go in his chest, but they are his friends. You know, Half of these cassettes so far are good. Like you get Laserbeak and you get Radbat. I think right. those are good choices. Ravage is to me okay, but I can see why someone wouldn't like him. And uh, Rumble is not very good. A part of me wants the stumpy Rumble see, frenzy. See, see I'm yes. the opposite. Like I actually like this Rumble. I I don't. I mean, I like the masterpiece <laughs> one better, but obviously, you know, this one is still fine um I, I don't have any problems with him i think he looks the part i think he looks good like he looks a little stumpy but you know whatever um yeah the stumpiness is better in person like when i first saw pics of it i was like Ugh, that looks really gross but he's like better in person i kind of want him for the humor i almost want him just because he's so stumpy and it's kind of funny well then get him yeah maybe i kind of want to bucks, see this isn't a bad buy Right. I kind of want to see how they braid out the purple one. Like how he will come out. The what? If he'll yeah, get another two kinda, pack. She's looking for Frenzy. Uh, oh, okay. It's well, kind of weird that we haven't seen repaints of these yet. Like yeah. Everything else in the MicroMaster class has gotten a repaint. And even when we first saw solicitations for the MicroMaster 10 pack, which eventually became a Target exclusive, I thought maybe we would get some more tapes with that. And we they did. can't not make the blue one because he was the more major character in the cartoon so he has to get made right so you'll get frenzy or cartoon rumble you'll probably get buzzsaw right uh, so how will they come out because are they gonna do are they gonna do a decepticon two-pack like will they do another i'm trying to think like will they put um but yeah depends on if these are gang molded so these are gang molded, and we'll only ever see Rapat molds and humanoid molds. If they're not gang molded, we could get, you know, a, a Buzzsaw uh, Frenzy two pack. Mm-hmm. That would be fine. Um, we could also get a Garboil and Halback two pack, no problem, because if those are gang molded, they came together anyway. Right. I wouldn't mind if they um. If they made a, like, one of the exclusive packs, like they made a Decepticon that comes with the remaining two major cassettes. I mean, really, it's just Rumble and Buzzsaw as far as ones that show up on the cartoon. Overkill and Slugfest. Huh? Overkill and Slugfest. So they they show up, like, once. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, the major ones are Laserbeak, Ravage, and... The little guys. I think mm-hmm. if they really did, if they decide to do what I think they're going to do and remold Soundwave into a van Soundwave for Earthrise or Victory or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we'll see more of these tapes. I think we'll get a blaster out of it. Yeah, we're going to get a blaster. And I think we'll see a couple more molds of these tapes because we, we'll need a different one for Steeljaw, probably Ramhorn will need something different. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see them know, do a twin cast too. I think that would look really good. Might be well. Since we have MicroMaster combiners now, what if we got Squawk Box and Slam Dance? 
a real slam yeah. dance. See, I just don't think so, since we already got a sort of, kind of version of them. Um, Could happen. I think Squawk Box is probably more likely. Well, I mean, technically I would, we got honestly, a Ramhorn already, right? So I think it would be cooler if they did Squawk Box yeah, in yeah, the same did, and style. Ram Horn Titan's Titan Return. Return. I mean, I guess it's Titan Return, but... So was Soundwave. So was Rumble. Yeah, true. But, 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 but imagine, imagine, imagine if we get Squawk Box in the same style that we get Slam Dance. Where it's like a Legends-ish, size-ish, Gorilla, and Birdie thingy. Those would be super cool. Wait, as like a deluxe? Like Slam Dance? Yeah, yeah. Whereas the deluxe is split into two Legends size-ish parts. But instead of an airplane and a tank, it's a monkey and a birdie. That'd be pretty wild. Those would be fun. I would go for it. Would go for it. Even, even if the monkey was the symbol. You know, oh, currently he's naughty. Okay, no longer naughty. Even if he was the symbol. I was actually playing with him down under the camera earlier. Like, I would be okay with that, just to make a, a cool lower body, upper body, whichever part he was. Look, I've said the same thing every time they've had a new tape for a while now. I said it at the I beginning want of this all the tapes! I want all the tapes. Commit to a tape size and make them. Is this the size, Hasbro? Is this the size? If this is the size, let's do it. I'm in for all of them. I'll buy every single one. Just give them to me, please. I don't want to have them broken across multiple alt modes anymore. Make them I, all this. I just want to say I love tapes and I will buy all tapes myself. So, like, it, you know, I think that we should uh, just go down the tape path and then not finish the MicroMasters. So then, you know, Rob is very. Ah! So the Rob is oh, very yes, nice. oh. I am still mildly annoyed that two tape packs took up two, two slots, really four slots, for MicroMasters and Siege. Well, maybe we'll get another MicroMaster 10 pack. The thing that okay. annoys me is, is right. that we no longer like have the Legends class, and then now the Legends class is going to be the Deluxe class, and that's going to really annoy me. Oh, yeah, that that is a bit of a bummer to see that, yeah, we're getting that size class back, but it's now the same price as the Deluxe. What? The Cliff I, Jumper. Well, because Cliff Jumper is about like there's been pictures people have shown he is about to scale with he's, the titans returns era legend he's, like, he's just like a head taller he's, he's scout right? class he's not really bulkier he's just a little taller yeah, he's I pretty small he's a he's pretty much a scout class figure so but a little bit bigger he's than way legend. more complex and way more like right. he doesn't have the hollowness you know he's a nicer figure because he's Got the actual segmented ankles and ankle tilts, and I think he might have wrist swivel. You know, he's a he's a high quality little guy. It's just figures of that size might end up being, you know, in a deluxe package. Well, we know that Hasbro does costing across assortments or you know, right. across a wave. So I guess that makes sense because it looks like Hoist and Wheeljack are fairly tall, especially Hoist looks fairly tall. Yeah. yeah. Well, and like so we have probably coming out that he, who's pretty much leader size almost. But they that, were able to do that because they packed him with uh, just one other new figure, which is Crosshairs. Right. And that was a repaint. Spinister. So, yeah, Spinister looks amazing. So. Spinister's so pretty. And anyway. hopefully we'll be back with Spinister and Crosshairs. And we're supposed to ship our Walmart order and stuff. is supposed to ship like next week, right? Yeah, we're supposed probably. to be. I guess so, we'll see. Um, so Let's see recommendations. Um, recommendations. Um, I would definitely we get do the, three sets. I, First, I the guns. Get, oh, the guns, yeah. I mean, those That's the order we did it, then. So first, the guns. Would you recommend? Yes. The answer is yes. I mean, did you listen to this guy? He loves them both. I'd say yes, because Target Masters are great. Buy all the Target Masters. Tell Hasbro that that's what they need to do forever. Plus wrong. Yay. Yes. Power punch and direct hit. Absolutely. Get them. 
Yeah, I, I would say these are by far my favorite MicroMasters, so I would definitely say get them. Light blue is a good color. I'll go yes. Tapes. Uh, I guess get them mm -hmm. with reservations. They're not stellar. Ratbat's pretty good. Rumble is not that good to me. Um, they're 10 bucks, so you're not going to go wrong for that. But they're not my favorite 10 buck figures I've ever had. Yeah. I mean, I, I still think that both of the figures are better than Ravage so, for me. So I, I would say I would recommend, but like, I would say that if you only had ten dollars to get the, you know, these little guys instead. Yes. Um, but probably. So as much as I, but I still love tapes, so I, I encourage you know as many tapes as will come out. So anyway. I All right. Love um, the tapes. Are we doing? Uh, Rob, are we doing the uh, Ouch My Wallet tomorrow night? Is that is that right? Or are we not? I think Ouch is happening. The super special, super awesome ouch may or may not happen depending on the Mel. Okay. Depending on the what? The the letter carriers. Oh. Because <laughs> we have a couple masterpiece oh. figures that are like dropping the post. The post. Yeah, yeah. Masterpiece figures are like dropping this week and you know, we may or may not have yeah. them, I guess, tomorrow. Is that right? Yeah, so far we're at one out of four of how many we would need because I, I do have I do have this little crybaby, but mm. we don't have the other one yet. Cry like earlier, so. Yeah. Yep. So Stop. yeah, I want to go. I want to get on the show and heckle you guys. So um, yeah, yeah we'll so, have ouch. Uh, so we do that tomorrow, tomorrow. Night, and then we'll do. We're gonna do a special TFLP is gonna be going up on Thursday. Um, so uh, look for that. So, oh, wow, I guess the truck is about to come to Rob's house. <laughs> there you go. It's man, that better hurry. Jeez, it's, it's delivered by that man. Right. So I don't think that's happening. So anyway. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow night uh, for ouch. And then, um, yeah, TFLP and uh, cut the tape should be hopefully out too so rick was having some upload issues but hopefully we'll get that straightened out so anyway yep wash right. your fingers we get a talk tomorrow yeah this guy bye bye